Today I'm going to be showing you how to customize controls on PPSSPP, the Sony PlayStation Portable Emulator on an iPad or an iPhone. We're going to be using the App Store version of this software and I'm going to teach you how to customize controls and add things like save states, toggle buttons, and also how to add these on a controller as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go into the main menu. So I'm going to tap on the menu button here and then go to settings and then we're going to go to controls and then I'm going to go ahead and edit the touchscreen control layout then we're going to press customize and then I'm going to go ahead and tap custom one. So I'm going to create my first custom button. And the example I'm going to be using today is fast forward. So I want to have a button which allows us to fast forward. I'm just going to customize the actual uh, button size and layout. So for example, here, I want this as a plus button. I want this in the shape of, mm, let's put it like, like a little arrow shape button there. I want this on toggle mode, so I want to be able to toggle this on and off because uh, we already have a um, fast forward button by default, which is this one. I want one which I can toggle on and off. Okay, so basically that's my toggle button. And uh, what I want to do now is uh, basically press that button and it's going to do a fast forward for us. So you can see it's fast forwarding and that's on and that's off. Another example as well is that we can add like save state buttons. I like to have that because I have save state a lot. So I can customize this. I can make my second button. Let's uh, do safe state. So I'm going to find safe state here. And then we'll just customize this button a bit. Let's make this, uh, make this a diamond button in the shape of a square. Let's see how that looks. And then we'll just move this around a bit. Let's put this next to there. And then basically continue and you press that button and it's going to save the state. So this is really handy. Um, if you wanted to like bind it to a controller as well, got my Bluetooth controller attached here. Uh, let's say I want to bind it here. So I just want to go to the menu, settings, controls. We're going to go ahead and control map. And then we want the emulator controls here. And then let's say we wanted to save state. And then we can use an unused button on the controller. For example, I want to use the right analog stick, press in, and then go back, I can actually press my analog stick in, it's going to save state for us. So it's a really fast way of doing that. And the touch screen is also available for us to save state too. So anyway, that's a very basic guide on how to set up custom controls on the PPSSPP on an iPad. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.